All right, guys, welcome to your eighth biology tutorial. And in this lesson, I want to start talking about the different forms of carbohydrates. Now, carbohydrates are a very complex topic, and there's a lot of crap to cover about them. And they can be classified in several different ways. But just to give you guys a real basic understanding, I'm going to be showing you guys the four different, I want to say, main classifications of carbohydrates, starting with mono. Saccharides, and I know my handwriting is pretty bad, but monosaccharides are a type of carbohydrates, and they're actually sugars consisting of three to seven carbon atoms. And I know what you guys are thinking already. You're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. First of all, you said that they were carbohydrates, but now you're saying they're sugars. Bucky, make up your mind. What the heck are they? Believe it or not, sugars are a type of carbohydrate kind of weird but we'll talk about more about that later on but for right now uh well remember in the last tutorial i told you guys that glucose had the chemical formula of c6 h12 o6 which of course means that it's carbohydrate and if we look at the definition it's a sugar anything that ends in ose is a sugar by the way we'll talk about that whenever we get to sugar sugars but since the carbon atoms which is this right here is three to seven falls in that range which is six that's why this is a carbohydrate and it's also a monosaccharide now once we uh you know get the step above monosaccharides above seven carbon atoms we get to something called disaccharides now disaccharides are actually two or more or excuse me two monosaccharides joined together so let's see what we got uh, let me think of an example glucose is of course a monosaccharide um, something called fructose you may have heard about fructose because people say that it's uh, the fruit sugar fructose is also a monosaccharide and if you were to combine glucose plus fructose you would actually end up with something called a sucrose and um, this is just the chemical name for table sugar. So sucrose is two monosaccharides joined together. So just to uh, recap one last time, a disaccharide right here, the definition of this is two monosaccharides joined together. So glucose is a monosaccharide and fructose is a monosaccharide and sucrose is these two right here joined together and that's why we call sucrose or table sugar a disaccharide now a step above this is called let me go ahead and get a new slider right here is called I can't uh, talk and type it the same CC oligosaccharide now what this is is more than two so I'll just write uh, greater than two but to 10. Now it says, and I swear, if you look up the definition in different places, this is what it is. And by the way, this is a greater sign right here, not 72 to 10. So uh, the definition is this, more than two, but usually no more than 10. And you're like, usually? What the heck kind of scientific definition is that? And that's just because oligosaccharides and carbohydrates they often come in some really weird forms so they're like eh, more than two but you know 10 to 11 maybe nine anything greater than this it usually comes as carbohydrates strung together by like the hundreds and thousands so just remember that an oligosaccharide is a carbohydrate that has more than two but usually no more than 10 monosaccharides joined together so remember whenever i talk about this i'm talking about mono saccharides not carbon atoms so I won't go ahead and uh, draw a picture of this because it would take forever if I draw you know 10 oligosaccharides but the last thing that I want to go over is polysaccharides and let me go ahead and get a new color and uh, if you heard that glugging it was the humidifier next to me and polysaccharides are actually really common and believe it or not oligosaccharides are one of the uh, least common it's the least one we talk about because it's a really weird range of numbers right here however polysaccharides are long chains of monosaccharides such as you know glucose fructose that's a definition long 
chains. And I know that, uh, you know, oligosaccharides, the definition was, you know, two to usually no more than ten. And polysaccharides doesn't have a number, but it just says something like long chains, usually, you know, thousands or hundreds. And, you know, these definitions are kind of weird. But once we talk about sugars and how your body stores energy in different types of carbohydrates, believe it or not, it's actually going to make sense. So polysaccharides, like I said, are long chains of monosaccharides, sometimes thousands of monosaccharides long. And uh, probably the most common one is starch. So starch is polysaccharide made up of a bunch of glucose. Glucose, it's like glucose times a thousand. If a bunch of glucose molecules were strung together, and remember glucose is a monosaccharide, then it would be called starch. So again, one more time, just to embed it in your brain. Uh, let's see if we can get this other side plopped up. So carbohydrates come in one of the four following forms. So basic sugars are three to seven carbon atoms. Oh, okay, I see what's going on here. Okay, hold on, hold on, wait for it. There we go. <laughs> All right, so sugars are carbohydrates with three to seven carbon atoms. Disaccharides are carbohydrates with two monosaccharides pretty much put together. Oligosaccharides, or oligosaccharides, depending on how you say it, are more than two, but usually no more than ten monosaccharides. And polysaccharides are chains of like hundreds and thousands of monosaccharides. So mono, di, which is two, oligo, which is two to ten, and poly, which is just like usually hundreds. It's usually not like 13 or 14, usually hundreds or thousands. Now in the next tutorial, I want to talk about sugar specifically because monosaccharides are something that they're going to take a lot of information to cover. And uh, well, you guys will see in the next video and hopefully things will start making sense. So if you don't understand everything in this video, don't worry. In the next couple of videos, you will, I promise. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.